Remember, in 2008, we were in the middle of two wars and the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. Today, our businesses have created nearly five and a half million new jobs. And this morning, we learned that companies hired more workers in October than at any time in the last eight months. Home values are on the rise. Housing construction is moving up. We're less dependent on foreign oil than at any time in the last 20 years. Because of the service and sacrifice of our brave men and women in uniform, the war in Iraq is over. The war in Afghanistan is coming to a close. Al Qaeda has been decimated, and Osama bin Laden is dead. Oh, 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 and one more thing. An American auto industry that had been written off is back on top of the world. As long as there's a child somewhere in Lima or anywhere in Ohio or anywhere in the country who's languishing in poverty and barred from opportunity, then our fight goes on. Our work is not yet done. Our fight goes on because we know that this nation cannot succeed without a growing and thriving middle class. And we believe that, that politicians you know, need to know that they should focus on creating jobs and growing the economy, but they don't need to control health care choices that women can make for themselves. And you know what? At the time, Republicans in Congress and a Senate candidate by the name of Mitt Romney said Bill Clinton's plan would hurt the economy and kill jobs. Sound familiar? Turns out his math was just as bad back then as it is today. Because by the end of President Clinton's second term, America had created 23 million new jobs. Incomes were up. Poverty was down. Our deficit became the biggest surplus in history. So, Ohio, we've tried our ideas, and they work. That's what Governor Romney's been doing these last few weeks. Right here in Ohio, John talked about this. Folks who work at Jeep plants have been calling their employers. They're all worried. Are, are, are we losing our jobs? Are, are jobs being shipped to China? No. And, and their bosses are having to say, what are you talking about? And the reason they're worried is because Governor Romney's running an ad that says so. The problem is, it's not true. But you know that I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. You know what I believe. You know where I stand. You know I tell the truth. And you know I fight for working families every single day as hard as I know how.